Now today we're going to talk about ammonia and the toxicity in the brain. Now I have done some videos on ammonia before, um, especially if you have a strong odor in your urine and what that comes from. This is mainly going to be the toxic effect in your brain. It's not a bad thing, but when you're fasting or you're doing a ketogenic diet, um, you're generating a lot of ketones as your fuel. Ketones are acidic. Uh, ammonia is basic. So ammonia is generated to counter some of the acidity from the ketones. It's not a bad thing. Your body's just compensating for the acidic urine. So if you're fasting and your urine is very, very strong like ammonia, I would not worry about it. Now, if you're consuming a lot of protein, you may smell uh, like an ammonia type odor. That can be either some ammonia or just a really concentrated byproduct of ammonia, which is called urea, which is less toxic. That is usually not a problem unless you have liver damage. Now, if you have liver damage or kidney damage, you may not break down ammonia fully to urea. And so it could actually build up and it could back up into the brain as well. Uh, but ammonia is a byproduct of protein, amino acids. Now, the friendly bacteria in your gut also make proteins. They make neurotransmitters. So if there's an imbalance with your microbes, um, you could actually generate excessive amounts of ammonia. And that's one cause of ammonia in your brain as well. It's from the gut. And one of the solutions medically is that they use an antibiotic to lower ammonia. Of course, I have a different viewpoint on that, but if your gut is not right, that can affect uh, what's going on in the brain. When ammonia elevates in the brain, it can really be toxic to the neurons and affect your clarity of thinking, your cognitive function, your mood, and um, you can actually even go into a coma from that. Now, if you also over-exercise, that could produce a problem because your body is in this catabolic breakdown effect of amino acids. So this ammonia could come from that potentially. Now, another interesting thing relates to this bacteria. Glyphosate from Roundup Ready, it's an herbicide in GMO products, really goes after your bacteria in your gut and one of the deficiencies that's created is a manganese deficiency. And manganese is essential in producing enzymes to break down ammonia. So if you're generating ammonia from your gut bacteria, that could be the manganese deficiency from what you're eating. You're just having too much glyphosate and that's really the underlying cause, which is in so many foods. So as a natural remedy, manganese can help detoxify ammonia. Another natural remedy to lessen the amount of ammonia in your body is sauerkraut. Why? Because you're enhancing the friendly bacteria, plus it's a prebiotic or fiber which feeds the microbes. So it's a pre and a probiotic. Vegetables will give you the fiber to make um, more friendly bacteria, as well as the phytonutrients to help the liver in the phase one, phase two detoxification. So vegetables do help the liver and the kidney detoxify waste. Also, go on a moderate protein diet. Try not to do too much, especially if you have a liver problem or a kidney issue because that can just generate too much ammonia. All right, so there you have it. These are the four things that can help reduce ammonia in your body. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.